Hello guys, welcome to our fifth um, tutorial, PHP Laravel on CodeHub, uh, which is like a forum for coding. People can go ask questions and you know leave comments. So here up, I have um, I'm, I started my XAMPP server and I'm in the CodeHub public, and you can see this from. So if you cannot see this page, this is from our previous tutorial. So if you don't have this up and running please watch the previous tutorials and uh, you will know how to get this up and running okay so in this tutorial we're going to talk about templating we're going to talk about blade the laravel templating system uh, templating so let's go ahead and get started with this so okay so here we have the code from our previous tutorial and as you can see here we have all the code in the home page but let's say like let me go back to the browser here but let's say up here we have uh, let's say like every page will have this uh, uh, nav bar but it will have different content in the in the body of the page itself so instead of us writing the code which is like let's say this part up here the nav bar instead of writing this every single page what we can do is like let's go ahead and rip it apart so basically take this out and move it into uh, move it into a, it's a, a file itself and then we can keep including it and so we don't have to write the same code, so write the same redundant code. We can we can reduce the code um, redundancy by doing that, and you know we can create templating. So let's go ahead here and get started. So under views here, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this layouts. And in here, I'm going to create another folder, and I'm going to call it masters. This is going to be the master layout, and I'm going to create one for partial layouts so partials once I've done that in here I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna save it as let's say master layouts I'm gonna call it main let me get this right I'm gonna get a main dot blade dot PHP and this will be the main layout so in this main layout what we could do is we could just go ahead and copy all this top part right and we could remove it from here and we can paste it in the main the reason we are doing that let's go and remove this bottom part also where the body tag closes and remove it out the scripts also and paste it here so the reason we're doing this is because this will be used will be the same in every page so why don't we create this main template and then we can just be we can replace the body itself only so whatever the body so each page will have different content in its body and then we can include this template we can use this template and uh, also just change the body so in our main here we can just change the content itself so to do that in our main here let's go ahead and first of all we have a in the body here let's go ahead and do a yield so what we're going to do is yield we're going to type the keyword yield and I'm gonna call it here page content so what this does is a placeholder so the blade can translate this uh, as okay I'm, I'm looking if, if I see this page content in another uh, when, when I load another page and I see this uh, page content keyword then I will grab whatever code is in that other file and put it here so now parse it here so it will make this page basically we'll go look around and include those here now within partials here I'm gonna create another file I'm going a little fast guys but don't worry we're gonna go over it and understand how it exactly works I'm gonna call it nav for navbar that blade that PHP and in here what I will do is I will go and grab this navbar part so where the nav starts and the nav ends I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna move that out And I'm gonna paste it in the partial. So in here, I'm gonna put this code for a nav bar. So this will be the nav bar itself. So every page will have this nav bar here. Okay. And how we can use the nav bar? Let's say we go in the main page here. Now instead of basically writing that code again and again and again in every page, what we can do is we can simply type include, and we can include that exact. So we can go to uh, layouts partials so we can go to the folder location and nav so this will basically what this does it says okay go to 
includes or go to layouts, partials, and nav, and grab whatever code is in this file, which is this code right here. So basically what we'll do is, like, okay, copy this code and then just put it right here. So, sorry, copy this code and just put it right here. So then you would just make the page look exactly identical as it was before, but without writing the same code. So now if I wanted to include this in another page, all I would do is just tab, type include again, and it would just include that exact page once more. Okay, so now that we have done that, and we ha have yield here, what we want to do here, so if we go and reload the page, this should not work, of course. It should look weird like this. So now to fix this, up in the home.blade itself, we got to type the, we got to go ahead and include this. So it, we have to type the keyword extends. And in here, we got to type layouts dot masters dot main. And what this will do is basically it says, go ahead and use this template that we created here. This will be the main template. So go ahead and grab this. So once it goes and it uses this, basically it will include all the stuff, all the code that we have here. So we bring in these job libraries and the CSS styling. And then now what we want to do is we want to this code that's in here. We want to make sure that that's being placed here in order to make it look the same. So to do that, we simply got to type the, uh, another keyword which is section and the section will be page content so again what is that section here we defined yield which is the placeholder for that and it's called page content so make sure when we say this section we gotta tell it which section that is from the main template so once we tell it that it is the page content it will go ahead and uh, grab and it will place it right here in this in this placeholder so we'll grab whatever code is in here, basically this code, and place it here. And that should make the page look exactly the same as it was before. So let me go ahead and... At the end here, what you need to do, you also need to type the keyword stop. And what this does is telling it, okay, this is the beginning of this section. This is the end of the section. The reason you do this is because in here you can define other sections. So you can have this, you can have like, let's say we can have a, a, a thing called footer and so on. So once you do all those things, then that's why you got to tell it. So in here you can define different sections. You can have, you know, the footer and blah, 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 blah. But in this section, we're only going to have one. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And now we see the same exact thing. And the reason that is, we are we are achieving the same exact code, but now what we at what we achieve with this templating is we don't have to write this code anymore. All we gotta do is just use the keyword extends, and Laravel knows that it will go ahead and look in the layouts masters for this template called main, and once it finds that whatever it sees this, and then once it loads this home that blade, it will look for certain things so it will look for sections so once it sees a section page content it will go in the main template and see where that page content uh, section is and it will cut and it will grab whatever code is it in between this section and stop and it will place it right there so by doing this we can reduce the amount of code that we type in so we can reduce the code uh, redundancy instead of typing the same thing over and over and over in every page we only got to type it once and just use this templating system uh, in order to display it in every page so that saves a lot of uh, saves you a lot of time for writing code and copying and pasting and also uh, makes it uh, makes your code much more clear and easier to debug so i hope you guys like this um, templating uh, uh, let's say blade templating that laravel provides is very useful and very powerful once you use it properly in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually uh, uh, you know start designing our home page and you know start um, moving into more advanced things so thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, stick around for tutorial number six which will be up very soon thank you for watching again